don't know what it's like. Come on. What? Well, what's like? Alcatraz! It's one of the most notorious prisons in the world, Alcatraz, a rock island in San Francisco Bay. Kevin Bacon got a sense of what prison life was like while playing a brutalized inmate in Murder in the First. Every day was a new level of you know, anguish or pain, because that's really what the character is going through. In the movie, based on a true story, Bacon, as petty criminal Henry Young, spends three horrific years in solitary confinement after trying to escape Alcatraz. Young kills a man when he's freed from solitary, but a lawyer, played by Christian Slater, defends his client by arguing abuse at Alcatraz sparked the final act. Oh, Jim, for a smart guy, you're awful slow. I'm already dead. I told you that. You know, you, you, you can't change Alcatraz. I think he's compassionate. I think it's actually his own compassion that brings him out and lets him, uh, you know, opens the door a little bit for Christian's character to come in because uh, otherwise he would have just, you know, shut him out completely. Bacon had to make major physical sacrifices to take on the look of his character. Uh, almost every day I had to, had to put the scars on in a... Uh, a prosthetic over the eye, uh, and then uh, I wore a, a large contact lens. It's like about this big. It goes over the whole eye. It was, you know, extremely uh, painful. Bacon also spent the night in an Alcatraz cell, shaved his head, and lost weight. Uh, it was tough when I was doing the movie, but I, you know, I went to Hawaii and shook it off. But there are lasting impressions of Bacon's inhumane bondage. There are some very funny pictures of uh, of us on the beach and. You know, I'm really pale and, you know, underweight and my head's all shaven, but there's some palm trees swaying in the background, you know, and I'm holding a Mai Tai. <laughs> a well-earned celebratory refreshment after a grueling movie shoot that's winning bacon critical praise.